Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my beauty empties for January 2020. The first thing that I have is this Crest with Scope mouthwash. Uh, I love the Crest brand. Love Scope. Um, I love how fresh it makes my breath. So I would um, definitely repurchase this. And I think I got this for like 95 cents um, with like a dollar off coupon. So if I can get it that cheap, I definitely repurchase. The next thing that I finished up is this Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. And this is huge. This was filled all the way to the top. This is 16.9 fluid ounces. Um, this came from Sally's. This was okay. I really wanted this to knock my socks off because there were so many YouTubers that did reviews on it that loved it. Um, but it was just okay for me. Uh, it didn't... It didn't dry my hair out, but it didn't add enough moisture. Um, so, I don't know if this would work better on thicker hair. I have really thin, dry, thyroid hair, and, you know, I dye it blonde. So, um, it just might not be enough moisture that I needed. But if you have thicker hair, this might work wonderful. Um, so, it's $14, I think, at Sally's. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it just because it's not my favorite mask. Like I said, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing. And so, for cheaper, I could get my hair masks that I like a little better. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase this. The hair masks that I've really been enjoying... This one is from Bedhead. It's the color, color Goddess. And it's for all hair types. And this is huge. Okay, this is 20.48 ounces. So this is, this is even, you know, they look, this one looks bigger. But like, yeah, this has a lot of product in it. It's filled all the way to the top. It's from Burks for $9.99. It's normally $20. And it works really good. Um, and it smells amazing. It smells like a bakery. Like you just put, you know, a treat on top of your head. <coughs> so, um, and it makes my hair feel softer and more moisturized. So, um... I would rather buy this for less money over the Eva NYC. And I really like this one by Bedhead. The Dumb Blonde Reconstructor. It smells like candy, like a lollipop. And got this from TJ Maxx for $6.99. Um, normally sells for like $12.00. So, again, this is cheaper, and it makes my hair... <coughs> I'm sorry, I've been sick with my asthma and bronchitis, um, so bear with me. Um, this makes my hair softer and more moisturized. And then, of course, this Kenra. Um, I've been using this since high school. Um, my hairdresser turned me on to this she used to sell it in her shop and i wound up switching hairdressers because the other one was just so pricey um and she sold this for way more than what i bought this for um this was ten dollars on amazon and it's normally like 23 dollars in ulta so um if you want to try this i would definitely recommend Amazon and it came to me just fine um you know nothing was wrong with it um and it it smells good makes my hair softer more moisturized and this was 10 bucks 
So, would definitely prefer those just over this one. And I had such high hopes. And, um, but, uh, yeah, so this would probably work better for thicker hair. It just didn't work for mine. So, would not repurchase that. Next, I finished up this Pond's Pure Detox Facial Foam. Got this from Dollar Tree. And it has, um, with activated carbon charcoal. Um, <coughs> it does foam up when you start to rub it in your hands. Um, but this was too much for me. Um, uh, I have thyroid issues which dries out my skin and... This, I mean, this claims to, like, clean everything off your face. That is no lie. Um, and this just might be the wrong time of year for me to use it. Maybe during the summer when you sweat more. But if you have really dry skin, I would not recommend this. But now, if you have oily skin, this would probably work better for you. Um, I bought this for my mom, too, uh, since they had it at Dollar Tree. And I'll have to see how she likes it. Um, but this would probably be great for a teen who has really oily skin. Um, matter of fact, if I found that Dollar Tree again, I might buy it for my stepson because he's 11 and he has already gotten acne real bad. So I've tried to been, you know, trying to help him with that. So I might buy it for him <coughs> if I see it again. But I would not buy it for me just because it wasn't right for my skin. Then I finished up this Clinique Liquid Facial Soap in Mild. It's part of a three-step skincare system I got. This is for dry combination skin. And this worked pretty good. Not going to lie, my skin was a little dry, but not as dry with other products. So, it didn't dry my face out as bad as other products do. So, um, once I finish up some other facial cleansers, uh, I would probably repurchase this again. But, this was a pretty good one. Next thing I finished up was a shower gel from Bath & Body Works in Love, Love, Love. This was a nice, like, berry scent. Um, and it's discontinued. So, you cannot get this anymore. I don't even think you could get it online um, with retired scents. I have not seen it come out again. But, I wish they would bring it back. Um, because it smelled really good. So, enjoy this while I had it. My mother finished up a Spring Valley low re slow release iron um, vitamins. She is anemic. And these iron supplements help her get her iron levels up. And those came from Walmart. She would repurchase. Next, we finished up these uh, Reach Ultra Clean uh, four-pack of toothbrushes from Dollar Tree. These worked well, and they don't snap off like the pin packs that you can get. Um, those, do not buy those. They break so easy. My mother has broken so many in her mouth trying to brush her teeth. Um... If you want to travel with those and throw them away later, that's what we've been doing. Because they're not even good to clean with. <coughs> those 10-pack ones, uh, you try to clean with them to scrub something, and they break. But these we liked, we would repurchase. <coughs> Next, I know this doesn't really look like it's all the way used up but believe me i flipped this over it wouldn't pump anymore when it got to a certain point and i flipped this over and got it you know to the front and i held it over a container and just 
try to get everything out and that last little bit will not it does not want to come out so <coughs> but this was the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion um I bought this in the skincare set with that facial soap and I love this this works so well for my skin um my face isn't dry when I put this on and it goes great under your makeup so would definitely repurchase this again once I use up my moisturizers that I have um this was really good so would definitely repurchase Next, um, my husband finished up this Old Spice Bear Glove 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. This came with his Christmas set, and he really liked this, and we would go out of our way and re we would purchase it. He liked it. <clears throat> Next, my mother finished up this Herbal Essence Body Envy volumizing shampoo um don't really think it gave her thin hair any volume but smells good and got her hair clean and you can get these for cheap especially with coupons and we haven't bought any more of these but we're trying to use up our little stockpile um so she liked it um but we're trying to use other things so for the moment we wouldn't buy any more but she liked it <coughs> Next, I used up this Equate Feminine Wash Odor Blocking Protection and Sensitive Skin. Um, this was really good. Always works for me. Gets the job done. And I don't really feel like I need to worry about getting an infection like you do with scented soaps. So, yep, I use that and that works good. Next, I finished up this other hair mask from Wella. Um, it's the OR Oil Reflections. And uh, it's a luminous reboost mask. Um, this is okay. It is not my favorite hair mask. Um, I bought this from Ollie's to try. This was like 99 cents at Ollie's. So I bought two. Um, and this one is the first one I used up. And it was okay. <coughs> it gives a little more moisture than the, than the, um, Eva NYC did. But it still isn't my favorite. I'll use up the other one I have, but I probably wouldn't buy any more because it's just not my favorite, so... Um, next, my mother used up a Nature's Measures Vitamin B12. This helps her get her B12 levels up. She would repurchase that. If that was from Dollar Tree. <coughs> she went through two B12, excuse me. Then I finished up this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. Um... This was on in the clearance aisle in Walmart for $2, so I thought I would try it. Um, this is a pretty pricey brand. And I love the smell, but <coughs> I had to have other products with this to detangle my hair. And it didn't add enough moisture, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Um, but I have really thin hair, like I said, really dry, so I always need extra moisture, and this just didn't add enough moisture for me, so I want to buy the full size bottle for like, what is it, 10 to $14, um, yeah, I want to buy it, but this might be great for thicker hair, it just didn't do enough for me. Next, we finished up a Colgate Total Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. Um, and this was, this was good. Um, this toothpaste cleans your teeth, and we like the Colgate brand, 
and we get these for sometimes under a dollar with a good coupon so definitely repurchase next I just went through some equate maxi pads um, in regular and they were 45 in a bag for like four something at Walmart so um these work just as good as always and they're like two dollars cheaper <coughs> so I repurchased them and they have the wings so I repurchased them next we finished up a dial Himalayan salt um, hand soap from Dollar Tree and this works really well smells good and we would repurchase we also went through another hand soap it's Jergens extra moisturizing hand wash and cherry almond scent we get this at Dollar Tree and this smells good it's one of our favorite hand soaps and we would definitely repurchase Next, I finished up this Freeman um, Pill-Off Gel Mask. Uh, it's in Revitalizing Pomegranate. <coughs> and it smelled really good. And to me, it worked re really well. Made my face feel nice and cool. It was a nice little treat. So, would definitely repurchase. Love the Freeman brand. Um... And this was like, I bought it for a dollar at Walmart when they had them on sale. So, would repurchase, especially if I can get it on sale again. Next, this was a sample that Pinch Me sent me. Uh, it's the Moroccan oil treatment. And this was really good. I savored this as long as I could. And, um, but... I won't be purchasing it because, oh my gosh, it is so expensive. It's good, but I think it's like $50 for a full-size bottle or more. Um, and that uh, is just too pricey for me for a hair product. <coughs> now, if I could find this on sale at like TJ Maxx or Burks or Marshalls or something... If I could find it on sale for cheap, then I would probably purchase it. But this was good while it lasted. <laughs> Next, my husband finished up this travel size dial for men and hair and body. And uh it was um it was really good. It was a shampoo plus body wash, and um, it smelled good. He liked it, and he had probably purchased a full-size bottle of that. <coughs> Next, went through a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works in Poolside Punch. Smelled really good. Um, got my hands clean. Been keeping hand sanitizer at work. Um... With uh, everybody coming through my line and handling money. <coughs> <coughs> and I get sick enough. Huh? I've been using hand sanitizer like crazy. And this smelled really good. And I would repurchase. And just a couple more things. This is Scent, scent Portable from Bath & Body Works in Champagne Toast. This smelled really good in my car and threw really good. So, would definitely repurchase that. Went through a Colgate Total Dental Floss that I got from the dentist. And this worked really good. It was, <coughs> it was a thicker dental floss. Um, but it worked really well. So, I would go out of my way and purchase that one. And then I finished up this um, samples I got from a hairdresser. They're going to start selling the Loma um, hairline. This was moisturizing shampoo. And this was the moisturizing treatment, the conditioner. <coughs> I 
I really liked both of these. Um, I had a lot of breakage from my thyroid, went really crazy, and my hair was so dry. And she gave me these to try. She recommended these to me because she said I really needed them. Um, the moisturizing shampoo was nice and creamy and did moisturize. It smells so good. Um, not sure what they're selling it for, so I'll have to check. I might purchase it. Um, but I would definitely recommend somebody trying, especially if you have issues that I do. Uh, but this was really good. And so was the, um, moisturizing treatment, the conditioner, and it came with a hair tonic too. Um, and they're all three together really good. Um, worked really good in my hair. I'm still using the hair tonic. Um, they all smell good. And I'm definitely going to look into how much the price is. If it's not too pricey, I might go ahead and buy some full-size bottles. But these worked really well. I would recommend them to fine um, hair and really dry thyroid hair and um, blondes. Definitely try that out. And that is all for my empties. Um, thank you so much for watching. And... I will talk to y'all later. Bye.